Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 24th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun. Still no major CMEs or solar flares to talk about. Just some active sunspot regions, a coronal hole, and some plasma filaments across the northern hemisphere. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have quite a few sunspot regions turning in now to an Earth-facing view. No more cresting as sunspots. Look at the last 48 hours outgoing. This is where we'll see a lot of plasma activity. Watching on the left-hand side, that dark line on the northern part, which is the west side, left side of these images, is a plasma filament, hoping that it stays intact. Another close look at the region that is producing a lot of plasma activity, and as well, a pretty active and quickly forming a sunspot region in the northern hemisphere. Here is a look at a multi-spectrum, and here we can see that large coronal hole, which will be affecting us tonight and into tomorrow. This is the last 48 hours of images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for tuning in today and taking the time to stay aware and prepared, and for choosing daily events worldwide. Another look here at the sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Notable, the one that is just to the left of the coronal hole. Five other major sunspots moving in. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a G4 geomagnetic storm impact. Possible widespread voltage control problems. High frequency radio and as well auroras. As far south as Alabama and parts of Northern California, normally at the 45 degree geomagnetic latitude. So very strong storm. This was the first largest geomagnetic storm we've recorded in the past six years. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP of eight during the day today. Here is a look at our Northern and Southern hemisphere for the Aurora forecast as we will see some more tonight. Watching the timestamp in the top left. Once the sun goes down, you'll still see some activity across parts of Western Canada. Amazing images posted all over social media. Please, if you haven't followed me on Facebook, my name is Mike Milks. You can find me on Facebook. There are a lot of very interesting posts and pictures shared from all of the auroras and northern lights seen and observed across the world. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, and as I said earlier, as far south as Alabama and parts of Northern California, even North Carolina. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 479 kilometers per second, and... That's pretty much it. Coronal hole wind stream is still expected very shortly. Things will be changing tonight. Geomag Geospace magnetosphere showing here the pressure cut planes. This is what our magnetosphere looks like being pounded by the solar winds over 400 kilometers per second. The density bunches that were pounding our planet last night certainly put on a show across the globe. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing see me taking off towards Venus. A little green planet. We are the yellow planet. We are expecting all of that coronal hole wind stream in the green. Having a look here at LASCO 2, this is the last two days of images. No major CMEs taking off from our sun and no major solar flares. Just the expected solar storm from our most recent M-class, X-class, and as well plasma filament eruptions, CMEs, 
has posted here throughout the last couple weeks. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 21. Healthy spike there today around lunchtime. Quality of 6.5, frequency of 8.8. .8. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As it's been somewhat busy, we're sitting at over 320 earthquakes, according to USGS. But we're definitely seeing some action here at Mauna Loa Volcano in Hawaii. Started last night with a 3.9 earthquake and carried on throughout the day. Listing here about 20 earthquakes around the region of the 4. 3.9 magnitude earthquake southeast rift of Mauna Loa 335 earthquakes across the USGS map right now quick look here across the US give you an update a couple minor earthquakes through Yellowstone like very minor 1.7 as well as some explosions being reported across Washington State. Interesting activity, Mount St. Helens, and as well west of Lausanne, overlooking Southern California. We do have a small swarm to talk about here in Borrego Springs. And that started with a 3.5 in the region, seeing about 40 since it started here we are here the borrego springs california 3.5 and a 3.0 followed by about 30 or 40 small shakers puerto rico seeing action today as well largest through the region was a 3.4 south america Abrapampa, argentina 4.3 and a 4.5 late last night southern argentina Overlooking at Europe, still earthquakes being reported through Albania. That was yesterday as well. Some recent Turkey earthquakes and a 5.6 in Iran. 4.2 earthquake here in Jumla, Nepal. Earthquakes continuing through the Izu Islands region, south of Japan, towards the Marianas Trench. And activity straight across Indonesia today, southern Indonesia, to here, the deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 281 kilometer depth, 5.6 Tonga region. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers. As you've seen, over four is magnitude six and stronger earthquakes this week. Deepened activity slowed down for the last few days expecting something deeper here through the Fiji region in the next 24 hours with this coronal hole wind stream and it's way too quiet in North America up into the Cascades so heads up stay safe stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide let's have a look at world weather here brought to you by windy.com showing three systems affecting North America right now East Coast, West Coast, and as well through the Gulf states. Tornado watch is already popping up through Texas, Alabama, and east and northeastward. Snow is falling across Newfoundland and parts of the Atlantic provinces. And lots of snow is falling across the West Coast. Atmospheric river, low pressure system grinding down the East Pacific. Grinding down Washington snow and higher elevations just a few centimeters being reported through newfoundland about 33 millimeters of rain being reported with these systems that are heading through the united states watch for that to head into ontario tomorrow bringing some extreme weather very strong winds and possible sleet to be mixed with that and then later on the week, Monday into Tuesday, watch for extreme weather through the Gulf states and a low pressure system grinding through California yet again. And then towards the end of the month, we've got a pretty big system here developing. It's going to be pretty widespread across eastern Canada and the United States and still a lot of snow falling. Have a look here at temperature forecast for the next few days. 
next Wednesday into Thursday. Still some pretty chilly temperatures, especially across the west and higher elevations. Having a look here at Windy, I wanted to show you the wind models as we are going to be seeing wind gusts of up to 90 km per hour winds tomorrow through Ontario, parts of Lake Erie. 60 km sustained wind gusts up to 90, maybe even 100 km an hour with this large system as it punches through Ontario. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these storms. They will be nasty and most likely mixed with sleet. And as I said, very strong winds. Still watching some peculiar activity through the North Atlantic. Large low pressure systems here forming in the long range forecast. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll give you another detailed forecast. If you want more detailed forecasts around the world, please check out last night's video as the world weather forecast was put on there. Much love, everybody. We're on the verge of the Atlantic hurricane season through North America. Long range forecast, yet another strong system for Ontario. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.